This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, June the 21st, the official start to summer. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the Chiha Sky Cam this morning, and we do have a little a uh, little streak of what appears to be high cirrus clouds and certainly a beautiful sunrise. A uh, little bit more in the way of cirrus clouds over at the Hamilton Sky Cam as we look at the sunrise this morning. Temperatures across the area starting out the day generally around the 70 degree mark. It's a little bit warmer around Tuscaloosa where they're 75. And it's a little cooler up around Fort Payne where with the help of elevation they're at 64 degrees. The surface pattern includes primarily high pressure centered over the uh, north central gulf coast and uh, that keeping things uh, somewhat moist and a, a bit of a tropical weather pattern almost over the southeastern u.s in the uh, upper atmosphere uh, the ridge that we saw last week has decreased somewhat it's been uh, more or less depressed a little bit and suppressed to the south and that's going to allow for some unsettled weather ahead qpf wise for the next five days uh, the uh, Rainfall expected to be, of course, spotty because of the nature of showers, but some spots could get on the order of uh, between one and two inches, depending on how often you get under one of those showers. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk area in uh, both along the uh, southeast U.S. coast, the Carolinas, uh, North Carolina and South Carolina coastline, as well as an area stretching from uh, just to the southeast of Chicago uh, back into South Dakota. And uh, that's where the predominant uh, risk for severe storms will be. Day two, there is uh, just a sea text primarily focused in the north central plains. And then day uh, three, we also see a couple of sea texts uh, in the vicinity of uh, eastern Colorado, as well as the Ohio River Valley. And the tropics remain somewhat quiet. There is a little bit of an area off the uh, coast of Florida, but uh, not likely to develop into anything. All right, let's start uh, off with the precipital water values, and precipital water values are pretty high across the area uh, with amounts uh, approaching uh, between one and three quarters and about two inches. So I think today we could see uh, fairly, uh, uh, well, showers and thunderstorms will be likely, and they could be fairly numerous across the area. And uh, GFS, uh, of course, just pretty much painting an uh, area of showers. The upper ridge that we saw last week is, uh, has uh, suppressed to the south, and it's become uh, a bit, uh, how do you say it? Uh, well, I hate the terms dirty ridge, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not a, a good solid ridge. There's some weaknesses in there, and uh, as a result, uh, we're going to see showers. Now, on Sunday, because uh, of the precipitable water values, and there's a look at where the showers, the GFS is suggesting showers a little more numerous over the south part of Alabama. And if you look at precipitable water, we see that the highest values are over the south part of the state with some slightly drier air coming in from the northeast. So I think probably uh, Sunday we, we should see for mu much of north and central Alabama a slight decrease in shower activity. Uh, doesn't mean you won't get wet. It just means that we probably will see less coverage and they won't be quite as numerous. The, uh, the ridge is more or less gone on Monday in the upper atmosphere, and we see a bit of a troughiness. And that troughiness is going to stay with us through the week ahead, and so that means that things are going to remain somewhat unsettled. Uh, so the result is going to be just daily chances for showers. Now, the problem is uh, that uh, looking at Tuesday, uh, we do see a couple of short waves in there, one over Illinois, one over uh, East uh, Alabama. But the problem is trying to time those uh, as to exactly when they will impact the weather the greatest. Uh, and, uh, of course, we, uh, when we get out to Wednesday, we can see that, you know, there's one short wave up over uh, western Pennsylvania and another short wave coming across uh, Kansas. So the, the problem is timing those. So we're going to have a combination of those little short waves helping to enhance precipitation as well as daily uh, chances driven by the heat of the afternoon. So it's going to be kind of a combination, which means the primary chances for rain are going to be from about 2 to 8 o'clock. And then uh, we're also going to see, uh, like when we get out to Thursday, we see this general overall weakness uh, over essentially the lower Mississippi River Valley. So it means that showers are possible basically just about any time. And that weakness stays with us all the way through Friday. Uh, and you can see from the, the GFS pattern that uh, keeps showers over much of the southeastern U.S. By the time we get out to Saturday, uh, the, uh, the ridge is built up just a little bit, especially along the eastern seaboard, uh, but we've still got a, a fairly substantial trough that's moving through the central plains. 
and that just keeps much of the action in the central plains but we're staying pretty wet down here so unfortunately it means we stay unsettled looking out into voodoo country uh, the third uh, just before the fourth uh, <laughs> july 3rd looks like a bit of a trough uh, over the eastern half of the country and the good news for that is that means that we shouldn't see any appreciable heat and uh, the ridge doesn't look especially strong over, I mean, it, it's, uh, the ridge is there, and it's a strong ridge over the western U.S., but it's not an extreme ridge, let's put it that way. And so uh, no signs of just any huge heat. And we get out to the very end of the period at 384 hours around uh, the 6th of July, and it, the GFS is uh, hinting at this continuation of the trough over the eastern part of the country. That will do it for today's uh, Weather Extreme video. Expect to have the next one posted first thing on uh, Sunday morning or by uh, 8 a.m. or so. In the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.